Right, I'm out and about with this, the GoBow, the P100. It's here. It's got an 800 watt hour battery. And here's the controller, the remote. I'm not really a great fan of this remote. It's definitely robust. You know it's from a well, you know, company that knows design and robustness because that is a solid feel. Display looks actually pretty nice, very clear. Who is GoBow? GoBow is a company from Shazen, and I think they have a different name, but they also registered here in Europe and they make these mid-drive motors. This is the P100 and they have the P100 Pro, which will have 130 newton meters of torque uh, in boost mode and 120 in normal mode. This has got 100 newton meters. We're gonna go and find out now how it is to ride. First, we'll start off riding up a normal road because you guys have requested that. How does it sound? How does it feel? And then we're gonna go and ride my super favorite, well, it's not really my favorite, but it's very hard technical climb that normally you can't get up. Don't forget the channel is sponsored by Liat. Here we go. We're flying along at 21, 10, 19, 20. I mean, I think I'm cruising here at 100 newton meters. It's got 750 watts of the wheel, at least five kilometers an hour faster than I would with a normal bike. I'm barely putting any pressure on the pedals. Look, I'm lifting the feet off the pedal. I'm not pushing. I'm still cruising at 22. Flattens off a little bit here. 24. I mean, this is just really easy. I'm barely having to put any effort in at all. This tells me it's a cadence induced assistance more than torque, especially in this turbo mode. And this thing just cruises. No effort required. Let's put it in tour mode. Okay, this is 85 newton meter mode. So it's a bit different. And this, it actually starts to feel like a normal e-bike motor, which is more than enough to be honest. Okay, this is my first technical climb. As you can see, it's quite steep, quite rocky. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Eliminate this thing is just, still need to choose your line. Oh, slipped. There you go, wheel spin out. That's kind of normal. Let's try in tour mode. Right, that's so 85 newton meter mode. That's fine get you over those slippy bits, put it in boost. I mean, it's just, Ooh. there's no doubt, absolutely ping pong up this climb. There is no hanging around and I'm barely putting any pressure on the pedals. I don't know what the multiplication factor is, but is that my phone? I just dropped my phone because it ping-ponged out of my pocket because I'm bouncing up this trail. It's really rocky. Whew. Let's try again. Up we go. Fly, fly. I'm barely putting pressure in. Like, I can lift my feet off the pedal. It's cadence-induced cadence pedaling. If I do that in tour mode, right now I can feel a bit more difference with the torque sensor working. This isn't even the steepest trail I'm going to ride. I'm ping-ponging up here. Holy heck doing much effort, to be honest. I mean, I am, because I'm controlling the bike, but... Woo! We're riding up and down, sort of, all mountains trail, let's say. You're constantly at the 25k limit. So much power, I'm smoking the brakes. Okay, this is the steepest. This is the bit here. Getting up here is really hard. This is where you really struggle. You haven't really got much of a run in either, but this is like my technical climb. It's really loose rock. Lots of chance for wheel slip here. Bit of trail maintenance. This is where you really see how good this motor is. First of all, from the start here. So let's get on with it. I mean, the start is just so much grip straight away. Choose my line. Oh, I'm getting wheel slip. Ooh. I mean, I can do a dead stop here. First, Whoa. balance, oof, wow, flipping it, it's just, thing flies. This thing's ridiculous. I'm just flying. I mean, I'm, I'm not really even pressing on my feet. I'm more pressing with the body, pushing the body around, balancing the body. And the wheels just sort of turning underneath me. As long as I'm spinning the pedals, it's giving me a push. Ugh. At least the front doesn't lift. Oh, ah, no. Right, see if I can go 
cut that way across the rock. Does the front lift? No, but it's got enough oomph to start and then it conked out. It gave me an error. Maybe because it just spun out there. That's a weird error. Let's turn it back on. Try again. Good turbo. Oh, blooming neck. Almost. I haven't been able to do that on any other bike. Wow. Momentum is a steep climb. That's the first thing we need to learn. I'm impressed with the power, but this is always an impossible hill. I mean, there's no pretending this is actually an easy hill. It's not, I can improve my technique. I can do anything. It's like one of the hardest hills I ever ride anywhere. I'm kind of lucky because I've got all this choice around me for super technical, super steep. This is like 25%, probably 20% hill. Impossibly slippy. In the wet, you can't get up it at all. So much power at the wheel that it's almost, almost impossible to manage. You need really good traction. You need to carry momentum. Having all this power is no good. And no one's gonna come riding up here. Like if you were riding, you would never choose to ride up here unless you're really pro and you just really love hurting yourself. When I switched it to tour mode, it felt like a normal motor, which 85 Newton meters, obviously, which is that. It's motor. Right, I did this section. I've done it on the Turbo Levo. I've done it on DJI. I've done it on the Asco. This thing is easily the smoothest on this climb, I would say. Yeah, probably the smoothest motor. I wouldn't say it's the most controlled, but it is the smoothest. I haven't done it on the new Bosch tune yet. Need to do that when I get it, which will be next week. Okay, let's continue riding up the hill now and see how it goes. Turbo mode, just let's see. Climb is like, I'm barely putting any pressure on the pedals. Just whizzing up the hill. Look at this. Uh, you've got to keep momentum. It's all very well, turbo, but 100 newton meter. I mean, this is insane. It surges a lot, but I mean, it's okay. It doesn't look much on camera, but this is steep. This is barely any effort. All right, let's turn it that down to turbo normal mode, unlike on other bikes. Ah, okay. That feels like I'm riding a bike. Much more controlled, much better. Feel like I'm riding a bike. Switch to turbo and it's 100 newton meter mode, 750 watts at the wheel. And we are flying. I have to keep up. My feet can't keep up with the speed of the motor. With the GoPower motor, can't really see it because I'm far away from the camera. So how can I conclude this sort of first test ride? For what I understand this thing, so first thing I noticed about this motor, it feels more cadence induced than torque induced. It maintains momentum with cadence rather than pure torque. So many other motors, you put your foot on the pedal and the motor responds. This seems to fill in the holes more. So you've got a trot, you've got a peak of power when you pedal, the motor does it. Now on other motors, it sort of drops off like that and comes back again. It sort of mimics the cycling pattern, whereas this thing sort of flows through a little bit more. It's a different thing. I wouldn't say it's good or bad, but it does mean that you get a lot more support for the level of input. So you put in one and you get out five. As far as the really technical climbing goes, this thing, absolutely flies up hills. Doesn't feel out of control. If you ride the Sax RS, that feels a little bit out of control. Whereas this doesn't, you don't need to brake. And as soon as you release the pedals, it sort of calms itself down a little bit, but it's definitely in turbo mode, 100 newton meter mode, this thing is absolutely flying. Compared to the Bosch, this feels very similar when it's in high performance situations as the Bosch Gen 5 with the 100 newton meter, 750 watt update. Riding up that technical hill, it felt like that when I was in turbo mode, it was not feeling very bicycle-like. It was sort of a more hanging on and ping-ponging up the hill. When I switched to the tour mode, which this is set to 85 newton meters, it suddenly felt under control and it felt like a Bosch Gen 4 or a Bosch Gen 5 before the update felt very controlled and more than enough 
my question is, when do you use the turbo mode and this ex this really high torque? You can just fly along at the speed limit the whole time. So if you want to shuttle run on this thing, you can just go up and down, up and down, up and down all day. I can see why people like it, but I wouldn't say I like it. I prefer a cycling experience. I mean, obviously, if you're in, ter in the middle power mode, you can have that cycling experience, so it's not an issue. But I don't think you need that maximum power more than what it's got and when you do have it you're riding impossible trails however it is a smooth motor there's no doubt this is a smooth motor it feels smooth it rides smoothly and something that's worth noting go bow want you the user in combination with whichever bike company you are to choose your software tune go bow say you can make this motor have any characteristic you like so if you want it to feel like a shimano motor you can if you want it to feel like a bosch motor you can i'm assuming if you want it to feel like a dji motor you can it feels like the motor where you can just imprint whatever software it is you want on it software feel and it will do it there is a 130 newton meter uh 1000 watt version which I really don't think is necessary, but it's there if you need it. Right. right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.